there was holes in the liner. And so we ended up taking it all apart and everything. We, we took it apart, we actually killed a couple rats up top. So, so the whole thing has a concrete cloth underneath it, and so the rodents can't dig through it. Yep, from underneath it. I think I'd take the Chevelle. Okay, which one do you want? Oh well, wait, there's four behind you too. Okay, but let's just start with this wall. <laughs> you know, you're doing pretty good. You're not letting this slow you down. You're running around. Look at that, that looks painful. All right, little buddy, you get better, you get better. <laughs> I've always enjoyed building water features. I think that it was the most enjoyable time that I've ever had was building water features. <laughs> What'd you just say, Chris? Buckeye Drive. Okay. OH, and you would answer IO. It's Ohio State Buckeye time. Football starts this week. It's almost the first week of September. Yeah. How do you think our day's gone, Chris? I think it's gone great. Chris from Serenity Falls. We're going around traveling, visiting his customers, and this is a new profession for you because your old profession was a mechanic, right? You worked in the auto industry, sales, mechanic, service master. Service manager, yeah, I've done a lot of stuff like that, and then I started this in 2001. And then went back to the went selling back cars. For a little bit. And why do you like this now? I've always enjoyed building water features. I think that it was the most enjoyable time that I've ever had was building water features. So you so, got back into it five years ago. You're a certified six, six oxygen six yeah. years ago. Yeah. And we're visiting. What town are we in? Are we this still in Colorado, Colorado Springs. Still yeah. in Colorado Springs. And we're visiting a pondless waterfall, right? Yep. I'm Greg Whitsock the Ponga. This is my channel, Greg Whitsock the Ponga. And it's all about showcasing how people in Colorado Springs and all over the world live the aquascape lifestyle. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. This is Yeti. So Yeti is the small one. Yeah, he's our little snow monster who just <laughs> so had cute. surgery because he tore a ligament in Ouch. his leg. And this is Remy Martin. Hey, Remy Martin, what kind of dog? He's a standard poodle. Standard poodle, okay. And welcome to Remy Martin Worship Center where dog is God. Please wipe your paws. <laughs> I love it. I love dogs too. Okay, so are we following you? Where are we going? Uh, we're gonna go down this way. And okay, see. come on guys. Pretty young for a little dog. He just did something very stupid. <laughs> he, we were walking home and crossing the street and he decided to do four donuts. Aw, yeah. And then he tore a ligament. So I'm the pond guy, Greg. Hi, Greg, nice to meet you. And you are? I Eileen, and how long have you had this pondless waterfall? Eight years. Oh wow, a while. We started with a pond. Uh huh. And then and you I decided to eliminate that and go to the lower maintenance. Yes. And you live on Buckeye Drive. I love it. Buckeye Drive. It was a wildlife habitat. Yes. So you're into the nature. I am. And of course, water is the key element in that because life could not survive without water. That's very true. So are you a gardener too? I am a gardener. Pretty much everything that you see aside from the stone work is what I've done. I've almost all of the planting. There was nothing in the backyard except the scrub oaks. Well, it's a, it looks like a little paradise in heaven you have back yeah, here. I'm very happy with it. Oh, I love it. The hot tub, the sitting area, the sound. And what it's nice is whenever you have an area like like this covered the sound is always louder some black eyed susans you got a spillway that starts up there wow it goes all the way down huh down, yeah. so is there a pond down there before yeah that's where the pond was down okay down. so the maintenance on the pond list is low you can turn it on turn it off you don't have to empty it uh, for the pump so you flip it on, flip it off. Right. They do an amazing job helping me clean it. Look at that size of that waterfall. Wow. And is it lit up at night? Do you have lights? Oh, beautiful. Do the dogs like it? They love the sound of it. Yeah. <laughs> this is gorgeous, Chris. How long ago did you build this? Oh, you crazy, really? Okay, so what did you do here, buddy? A lot of problems with rodents in this one that was chewing holes through the line. So we. Uh, well, it is a wildlife habitat. <laughs> yeah, and, and we have open space back here, too, where they like this to live. Is, uh, this is Fountain Creek. Yeah. 
We got a creek running through the backyard. Yep, we get all kinds of animals. It's like a, it's like a roadway for them. So there was holes in the liner. And so we ended up taking it all apart and everything. We, we took it apart, we actually killed a couple rats up top. Oh. Then we took it apart, taking the top boulder off of there and found homes all through it. So we took everything out, we put in concrete cloth. So, so the whole thing it. has a concrete cloth underneath it and so the rodents can't dig through it. Yep, yep from underneath it. And before that though, it, 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 twice you had to have it rebuilt. It's another contractor. Yeah. Obviously, it wasn't sufficient and not done exactly the way it should have been. But the last six years since they rebuilt it with the concrete not cloth, it's been good. Not a problem. I don't think there's a person that come into this garden and not talk about the waterfalls. And it's a beautiful garden. Everybody says the same thing when they hear it. Yes. It's so calming. It just takes you to another place. And I love the hippos down here. Those you are my favorite animals. That's the first time that I've seen hippos in a pineless waterfall. <laughs> And this is like one tenth of what we've done. So restoration of classic cars? Yes. Oh cool, I we love it. Cars, antique, we build muscle cars, we do maintenance. So this is you and your husband? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'd love to see that. You know, you're doing pretty good. You're not letting us slow you down. You're running around. Look at that, that looks painful. All right, little buddy, you get better. You get better. Oh wow, this is pretty nice. Yes, please, one. <laughs> The Mercedes is pretty sweet. I think I'd take the Chevelle. Okay, which one do you want? Oh well, wait, there's more behind you too. Okay, but let's just start with this wall. <laughs> this car we took to a big car show in Kuwait. Kuwait? Yes. Prime Minister has a, at least a 2,000 car collection. That's where the tax money goes. Well, and they were looking for cars from all over the world, basically. They had a section just for muscle cars. And so we sent him a whole file of this car as it was being done over. Yep. And they chose it as one of the cars, so he paid to ship it. He paid for our business tickets from here to Kuwait. And Jim drops him into the pictures. Every time a car is done, every time we finished restoring, it. He takes it to a, a photographer who has this huge studio. A gentleman in Denver brought it down to us. He was having some guy up there restore it and the guy just said, I can't do anymore. So he brought it down to us and it's the only Volkswagen bus that will ever be able to go up Pikes Peak Highway. It has a Porsche engine in it. Oh, yeah, you know, some people have all the fun, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's Porsche, pretty cool. It's got Porsche engine, tranny, the wheels, are, you know, pretty much the whole car except the frame. So this is 50 years for your husband doing this. Yeah, he started when he was in high school building doom buggies for people. Oh, cool. He's always wanted to be a mechanic in, in, in this business. Pond people are just cooler people. I love seeing people's hobbies. I love seeing people that are into gardening, into wildlife, into cars. It's just never boring. Never any two stops are exactly alike, which is why I love doing my vlog channel. If you guys like this stuff please share these videos so more people can see how fun and cool palm people are and how fun living the aquascape lifestyle is i love my job <laughs>